All right, we're gonna show you a quick video of how my outdoor wood boiler heats my house. This is a Timberwolf 5, uh, 5,000. It uh, does up to 5,000 square feet. Um, I currently do my, let me see, my garage is 20 by 30, 600 square feet. My house is 1,500 square feet. So I'm currently only doing 2,100 square feet with it. Uh, there's gonna be another 1,000 square foot building right out here next year for the dogs on the other side of this wood pile. Um, so we'll be at about 3,000 square feet. I will also be doing my domestic hot water next year. That'll add another 500 square feet. So I'll be doing about 4,000 square feet by the time it's all said and done. Um, this is a <clears throat> pretty much 160 gallons of water is inside of this thing. And it circulates around the fire chamber, the firebox. Um, and it is pumped continuously into the house on a constant loop. Um, there's PEX piping right there that goes into the ground. There's a hot a return in the feed line inside of here. There's the power for the boiler. Very simple. Um, that's the water tank. It's completely insulated. Um, you got your pump here pushing hot water to the house. And this is the return water coming back. Uh, still very hot. And it pumps in. And it constantly circulates. This Aquastat, okay, keeps this water temperature between 175 and 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, keeps it very, very hot. Right now, this damper door is closed. When that damper door is closed, that means that my temperature... Can't really see it. There you go. It's at about... There we go. About 170 degrees. So much just kicked off not too long ago. Um... That damper door is closed, which means it's smothering the fire out. So let's take a look at the inside. Oh, yep. So there's what there's what we got going on. No activity really at all. It's auto damper, which means it's dampering down the fire to keep from burning out all the wood. Okay. So when that thermostat gets down to about 165 i think that solenoid up there poof, pops that draft door open and fire starts back up okay heating the water back up to 175 degrees where it shuts off closes the damper door and that that cycle just continues and that pump that i just showed you is always running and it's pumping water you can see where i tore up my yard um, the PEX actually goes in the house through the wall behind this box. I also got my propane gauge, which I don't use anymore back there. Um, and this box I just built out of some scrap metal I had laying around. And that's entirely insulated as well, just because I had extra insulation. Um, that line feeds through into my house and comes through the wall right here. Okay. So the water comes in from that outdoor wood boiler right here. This is the feed line. The first stop that makes is it travels that way. And this is the rig up I made this year to heat my garage. That is a heat plenum. That is what goes in a forced air furnace if you were using this system in a forced air system. I'm not, so I had this plenum left over. So what I did is I got it rigged up Here's the feed water coming from the boiler, goes through, heats the radiator up, comes back out. I got a simple box fan on a thermostat set to 70 degrees. When that registers below 70 degrees, it kicks that fan on, and that is some heat pumping out right there, and it keeps my garage between 70 and 74 degrees. So the water, again, comes in. First stop it makes is here. Then it travels back over there. <clears throat> where it comes up and then behind this is a heat 40 plate brazed heat exchanger it goes through comes back out here comes back down goes right back out to the boiler and heats back up and this loop just continues over and over and over all day long this water just circulates 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 and that out there is controlled separately from this boiler how it works 
is that water is exchanged in here, it's heated up. These two systems are separate. Here's my water boiler, okay? It's a Utica water boiler. It's good to do up to 4,000 square feet. This boiler comes in, the return line, normally it would just go boom right back into the boiler, push back in and heat it back up. But in this case what happens is, water comes down and I looped in this braised heat exchanger. So the water goes in here, transfers and picks up the heat from the water boiler and returns back into the water boiler already at 170 degrees. Therefore the LP never kicks on. So these two systems, okay, let me back up so you can get a good look at it. That and that are two separate systems looped through a braised heat exchanger. They're exchanging heat the water systems never touch. Next year, I plan to add on another line out there to do my next system. It's pretty cool. I save a ton of money. I pay for no propane. Um, I got six, almost seven acres of oak trees here in Maple. I got plenty of wood to burn. For a guy like me, it just makes sense. Thanks for watching.